Go. What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam, True Show, back today with another reaction back. video. And today we are checking out a fellow New England local. No eye is seen. They're returning to the channel. Yes, no eye is seen. Lost now, World. You weren't a big fan of the last release. I overall was not. I it was no. called Phantom. Yes. Okay. I liked it. I thought it was missing a little something, I believe. Yep. But it was good. Yes. Let's check out what they've got. So I have to say, we got to give a shout out to both No Eye Has Seen and Ian, Ian Urquhart. Urquhart, who the videographer. did the video. Uh, I do got to say, boys, listen to me, okay? There's something that is just glaringly an issue right off the bat. Now, this song is four minutes and 55 <laughs> seconds. Are you trying to murder me? Obviously, I, you, now listen, they didn't ask us to react. No, so they we, didn't. So they we didn't. are bringing this upon ourselves, but I can still blame them because I just did. Yep. So we'll see how they do with a five-minute track. No, I have seen Lost World. Here we go. Let's go.
You can see why it's five minutes. Okay, so that was Damn. No I Has Seen Lost World. All right, so I have to say the video was sick. Yeah. Quality on point. It was very good video. Very great video. Uh, I love that it started with a blast beat. Okay. Yes. Love that it started with a blast beat. This was a lot heavier than I was expecting them to uh, come out of the gate with. So, A plus on that. Um, I liked how they used the backing layers. Uh, very similar to current style, um, which I think works. It fills out the sound. Um, and they, they kind of fit into that that genre, uh, that, that kind of, um, you know, tappy sound, which they, they do a lot. Um, you know, it's just part of their sound, and they did it in, in this song as well. Uh, I did like that. Uh, they had a really cool tapping lead um, as part of one of the breakdowns. I don't even know if it was a breakdown or it was the tapping lead. It, it was really cool, kind of like towards the middle of the song before the interlude. Um, I think that was probably my favorite part about the guitar work although the guitar work throughout was really good um i have to give uh it's caleb right yeah uh i gotta give i just want to make sure i didn't get it wrong (laughs) um his cleans uh i think this is the best i've heard him sound okay honestly um so i love the cleans uh in this song the chorus i didn't want to like I didn't like it the first time. I liked it the second time. Mm-hmm. And I liked it after that. So it didn't... And I think the reason why I didn't like it the first time was because it didn't go where I thought it was going to go, which I appreciated after I heard it again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I thought that was a really good... Um, I thought that was a really good way they did that. Uh, the interlude was a little long for me, um, but it was good, you know? Uh, you know, as a, as a reaction, it's it's tough when you, you have those longer interludes. Um but I liked it, and I thought it fit, and I thought how you know how they came out of it was really good. Um, I also like how the breakdown had some clean guitars in it too. Uh, I give it an eight five. Uh, I think honestly that this is the best song that they've they've done for me. Like you know they've done a lot of good songs, but this is my favorite. Okay. Um. So I feel I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like the production quality was was up a bit yeah from the last I, yeah. one yep, um, I would agree. so i want to want to commend him on that or, or whatever happened um yeah this was really good this was really good so this is yeah. the kind of stuff i like to see bands around us um release yeah you know no, this is sure. the kind of stuff i like to see yeah no i i totally agree uh for me yes i was so happy that they kind of started it off hot um, cause they were kind of with a, a few of the recent releases from what I recall, kind of getting into like that melodic hardcore, well, like that, like that kind of like that slow kind of Thornhill type, um, sound. Not even, it was kind of like in van anime. Yeah. Like that, amb- like that, that, that ambient kind of like slow, like yeah. genty, but like, you know what I mean? Genty technical proggy. Yeah. It was kind of, it was, yeah. And it, yeah. I, it was in that, that kind of pacing really wasn't for me, but I, I really liked how they kind of came off with that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was sick. Um, I think the chorus was the weakest part. Really? Yeah. I, I, I I'm kind of like, on, on is that the, why you were eyeballing me while I'm telling you I like the cleans? <laughs> well, I think on the cleans themselves, I think I'm like 70-30 in favor of them. I'm kind of like, I like, I, I don't know. It's one of those things I think i got to listen to it a few so times that's, to grow so into it. The it was unorthodox the way it just did it, he it, went it, to the music, yeah, which I appreciated as I listened to it more. Yeah, I just, I felt like it, it was, I don't want to say it was just kind of like, put in there to to be put in there it's not that it's just it just seemed so different from the rest of the track like like detached almost. like i don't know it's it's very difficult for me i to think articulate. i think we just in general as a as listeners um i'm expect, very tough on core i, I don't know well i, I think we expect a certain level of of heightening from a chorus and i think other parts of this song did that just not the chorus. Yeah. And I didn't think that took away from the song personally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's one of those things that I think I got to listen to it a couple times yeah. to I, kind I, of get a better 
feel or grasp oh, I on it. it. Uh, yeah, I no, said unorthodox. Like yeah, chorus unorthodox because I liked it. I, I liked the melody line. It wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Right. Uh, the interlude, uh, I didn't mind. Um, maybe it went on a little bit too long, but it, it was fine. I mean, uh, the, I'm but, surprised you say that. What? That is the, typically a, a tipping point for you. Is uh, Long instrumentals. But the, I think the thing for me where I was kind of, ah, damn, is that when they came out of it, it was kind of building up, and I wish it kind of hit harder. So so it did. I liked, I almost wrote, it was almost like a false hit. Yeah, no, it was. And then yeah. it didn't, That I, I guess, you know, I guess you're right on there. I, I could see that. Yeah, I no, I that. just, I just, I was just hoping. Uh, it was a false hit, and then where it actually dropped, it didn't. Right, it just it didn't, I can, it didn't really drop too much, so maybe right. it just didn't need it. I, I didn't pick up on it too much. Yeah, yeah. I, well, for me, I can appreciate you know wanting to kind of you know anticipate that, but we oh we're not going to give it to you, you know like yeah. that you know I, I can appreciate yeah. that. I'm just talking about listening to it. Yep. Um, yeah, I definitely like this one more than the last track. Phantom. Um, I definitely like this I more than Phantom. I gave it a seven point five. I gave it a seven point five, um, and again, I think that really, I think the chorus is really the big part of that. It's one of those things that I, that could change after listening to it a few more times. Um, but I really, really loved like the overall, like just like uh, you know they jacked up the BPMs, yeah. you know, and I and I appreciated that because uh, yeah. I was looking for that from them. That's what caught you. That's what really sold me on this track. Um, again, I think the two th the two main things for me is that I gotta really try to get more into that chorus, and then also I just I really wanted them to because they were building up that interlude, and um, for me it would have didn't been release a, as much. Yeah, as it would have just been a really sick payoff to kind of yeah. be that interlude, -y, have it go on for that, and then it like it almost like went even further down and then back up building up and i was like okay we're gonna get a crash yeah. here i, I and think just even didn't if, quite get it yeah i think you the way that i was anticipating i think if it. there was a little production in there in terms of whether it was a, you know an impact sample or something like that even if it was just there you know under a little bit to kind of make that hit a little bit more yeah probably yeah but but yeah that's yeah. nitpicky stuff right so um, yeah for me um, maybe you'll eat your words like i did on the gannon track i, I didn't like uh the chorus at first listen, and I that thing has been on repeat. Yeah, since yeah, I mean it's one of those things. that's just uh, just some things require more than one listen to kind of really it, get man. into. Um, I mean, I've definitely did, had that a lot, especially like my mine. Yours is the Gannon one. Yeah, mine is Diamond Construct. Uh, at first, I remember when we did a reaction to that with Derek, I was kind of like, I just don't mm. can't get into this. But like after I listened to it a few, I was like, oh, this track is yep. sick. So. And I, I will say, too, and I want to point this out because I know that I'm the long song, I hate them guy. It, it, they did a nice job. It didn't feel like five no, minutes. No, they did it a did nice at job. the end because, you know, we're waiting Obviously, for the right, end and we're right. looking at the time. But No, they did a nice job with the pacing of yeah, a track of was this good. length. Uh, so I will give them credit for that because very few bands can do that. Uh, very few. Yep. I mean, a lot of bands, it's just, it's just like, please end the goddamn song. Uh, but everything kind of had <laughs> a purpose here. Uh it was just a couple things for me um, that I think listening to it more might change. Yeah. Very so well. there you guys have it. 8.5 for Adam, 7.5 for me. That was No I Has Seen Lost World. As you can see all around us, we have all of our users, all of our social media, all of our Patreon, on Twitch, all of our social media, all of our Peace. Peace.